Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A. We're going to talk about how to tie a foreign hand and a Bertie knot, which are two of my favorite knots. And we're also going to go through how to make the best looking knot possible, and what are the other factors that might affect a good looking knot collar area. So let's get started. Uh, first thing, the collar shape, you know, that's an aesthetic choice. Like some people might find button downs better. Some people might like spreads better. Personally, I like button downs. I like tabs. I also like spreads, but I don't wear them quite as much. Um, but what is very, very important is does the collar size fit you or not? And the way to tell is when you have your collar buttoned up, you want to look at the collar band, which is this part that's actually in contact with the neck. Is the collar band tight enough or is it too loose? right? Like one finger in, two fingers in, that's good. If you can fit a whole fist in there, that is not good. If you're feeling like it's hard to breathe, that is also not good. One of the reasons why when it's too big, uh, it looks funny after you've had a tie knot up is because this space here, which we call the collar gap, right? Like the space between the two points, the collar gap is designed very intentionally. And when you have a collar band that's too big and then you cinch it up with a like you close it up with a knot like it's going to make this gap disappear and potentially even overlap and that can look really awkward so that is why it's important to have the collar band fit correctly against the neck okay let's get started with the foreign hand and you know what? before we get started i just want to mention one thing um i have this skin condition called ichytosis and there's going to be a lot of close-ups of my hand in this video so um you know unfortunately it means i have very very dry hands there's not much i can do about it skin cream doesn't really help um people often comment on it and they suggest skin cream but it's not really something i do much about so please pardon my hands and let's get started foreign hand small blade on the back large blade on the top oh and you know if you're trying to figure out like how do you get the right length every time Try and keep in mind like the back blade, where is it ending on your body? You know, for me, for a foreign hand, I know that it should always be about at the bottom button above the waistband, okay? So, uh, large blade on top, small blade on bottom, thumb bracing it, and then forefinger on the top to anchor it. Go around once like that, and then under and over like that. And then you see like, I'm actually gripping, I'm anchoring that stuff. Like I'm anchoring the, back, the bottom blade and the top blade with my thumb and forefinger. And I've created this hole, which I can expand a little bit with my index finger. And then I'm putting the large blade through like that. Now, after you pulled it through, obviously it's flat, but you know, the best looking knots always have a good dimple in them. How do you form a good dimple? Take your right hand, form a claw. So the index fingers in the middle, first and third fingers are gripping the sides. And as you're pulling the knot tight, you're making sure that that dimple is being kept by your index finger, as so. Now, as you're doing this, you might also want to give the top of the knot just a little tug, just to make sure it's not riding up too far, okay? I like my knots relatively tight. I just think they look much better that way, but you know, it's up to you, your personal preference. And you know, on a tab collar shirt, it is actually important to have a relatively small knot, otherwise your tab won't even button. Okay, once you've got the knot, appropriately tight. You cinch it all the way up to the base of the neck as so. See, and as you can see, because I followed that guide on where the back blade should end, like it will, um, the points will actually line up properly. I bring my collar back down. Now for most people, this is kind of the end, okay? But in my case, because I have a tab, I also have to do one extra step, which is just to secure the tab. Okay. And there you go. That is what a good looking foreign hand looks like. You know, small asymmetric knot with a dimple in the middle. And that's it. We'll move on to the Bertie knot next. Hi gents. All right, let's do the Bertie knot now. So we're doing this with a Drake's black grenadine. Uh, with the Bertie knot, it's asymmetric as well. It's a larger knot than the foreign hand, but only by a little bit. Um, but it's great for guys who are a little bit shorter or who have ties who are a little too long. Uh, because it's going to use up a little bit more of the material of the tie. All right, so I'm going to start the same way, small blade back, large blade on the top, holding with the thumb bracing at the back, and then rather than go around like this on a foreign hand, you're going to go under and over like that, okay? Under and over like that, just get a little bit longer, okay, under and over like that, and then 
bracing it with the thumb, holding with the forefinger, like this. You're going to go around once, and then under and over again. Okay. And then same rules apply for when you're trying to form that dimple. So make a claw, keep your forefinger in the middle, and just tighten that up. And then cinch it all the way to the base of the neck. And as you can see, like it ends a little bit higher in my body. You know, like I don't do foreign hands that often because I tend to find they're a little bit too long. Like they'll be slightly below the waistband for me. Whereas like I like my ties to end right on the waistband. And so the Bertie knot really works for me in that way. Okay, let's get the collar points down. Since the Bertie knot's a little bit bigger on a tab collar, it's a little bit trickier, but let me see if I can do this in an expedient way. Ooh, first try, all right. Today's gonna be a good day. And there you go, Bertie knot. So asymmetric, a little bit bigger in the foreign hand, but you know, has a great shape. One of my favorite knots. Alrighty, if you guys have any tips of your own on how to tie a tie, we would love to hear them. And if you have any other questions, please feel free. Leave something in the comments. Thanks for watching.